Okay, next, I can understand lay people reach Buddha mind or do they have to become monk nun to stop reincarnation? Well, to stop reincarnation, it does not matter whether you are monk or whether you are lay, whether, whether you are layman or a sangha member. As a sangha member, I'm a monk. If I don't practice, if I don't get enlightened, if I do bad deeds, I will never get out from reincarnation. You are a layman, but you, you practice better than me. You will be away from reincarnation. I would be submerging in life and death for a long time. So it does not matter whether I wear this robe that I qualify as a monk, then I will be better than you. No. It's your practice that counts. It's the practice that counts. But being a, in the Sangha order, the environment, the practice is much more intensive. I tend to be easier to succeed nirvana than you do. Because you are a layman, you're always with your family, you're attached to love, you're attached to wealth, food, reputation, money. You don't have time to practice. But in this environment, it's easier for us to detach. It's easier for us to build up merits. Easier than you. Because you will go home, when you go home, you watch television. When you go home, you speak over the phone for one or two hours, chit-chatting, sometimes gossiping. And you go, go from one temple to another. In the morning you go to temple A, in the afternoon to temple B, in the, in the evening you go to temple C. You're like a rolling stone that gathers no moss. So uh, you try out different centers, and you want to rely on God, Buddha, Bodhisattva. You, you rely on everybody who's powerful. So that at the juncture of urgency, you call all of them to come to help you. You call Buddha, you call Jesus, you call, oh, all of them. It's, it, no, you feel it's better, safer to do it that way. So it does not matter whether you're monk or nun or layman. Reincarnation practice is the most important. 